guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and I am obviously right now in with one of our cutest animals here at the zoo, I'm talking about the red panda, this one in particular, this is Daisy. But today I wanna to talk a little bit about the program that our red pandas are part of called the SSP, or Species Survival Program. Now, you're gonna hear me use the SSP term quite a bit, and I wanna talk about what that program is because it's a really important program that we are honored to be a part of here at Zoo Montana with our red pandas, our Takin, um, and our wolverines as well. And so the SSP program, what that basically is, is it's a program to keep the genetic diversity alive for endangered species. What in the world does that mean? Well, let me tell you. Unfortunately, there's a lot of animals in our world today that are not doing good, in particular because of man-related causes. So that could be deforestation, that could be hunting, it could be a whole slew of reasons that animals are going extinct or endangered um, in the case of some of our animals like the red panda. So the SSP program allows our animals here to serve as for a couple different things. One is an ambassador. So it allows people, you as guests, to learn about and see these incredible animals in person probably an animal that the most of us will never see in the wild, unfortunately. Number two is that it allows us and scientists and biologists and researchers to get an up-close view of their behavior in a setting like Zoo Montana or some other zoo around the world. So that provides some incredible information that some researchers may not always be able to get out in the field. And number three, going back to what I just said, it allows us to breed for genetic diversity, meaning we have a genetically viable group of animals that we can one day, if we need to, re-release back in the wild. What in the world am I talking about with that? Well, I've got two great examples that zoos have been pivotal with. The first one are California condors. California condors were nearly extinct. All California condors, I believe 20 plus, were actually brought into a captive situation and actually bred and re-released in the wild. And there are now over 400 California condors flying free in their natural habitat. That was a species that was brought back from the face of extinction. Number two, the black-footed ferret. Believe this, right here in Montana and down in Wyoming, black-footed ferrets were thought to be extinct. There was a small population in Wyoming of 18 animals that were found. They were all collected, brought into captive breeding situations. There are now over 350 black-footed ferrets roaming free once again out in their native habitat. Now the problem that they have, black-footed ferrets, our prairie dogs are starting to dwindle in numbers because, believe it or not, the bubonic plague. So now researchers are doing what they can to use peanut butter balls to actually vaccinate the the uh, prairie dog in hopes that it will help sustain not only their population but the black-footed ferret population. Crazy, crazy things out there in the name of science and zoos are in the forefront of helping where we can and that's why I love the SSP program so much to help save animals like Daisy the red panda. Guys until next time I am Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana with Daisy our beautiful red panda.